Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my favourite lipsticks for summer 2019. So I'm going to be sharing all the lipsticks that I'm loving to wear summer this year and lipsticks that I'm just loving at the moment anyway that I think is perfect for summer and they're all apart from one drugstore and affordable. So if you're looking for some summer lipsticks then this might be the video for you and these are just the ones that I'm loving wearing in the summer this year. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so these aren't in any particular order. I think I think I'll just go from whichever's on the left and go to the right. I will swatch them for you and I'll tell you a little bit about them as well. So yeah. First up we have the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine Lipstick in the shade 642 hashtag MLBB. So this is like a nude. Now, this lipstick is the type of lipstick you'd wear on an everyday basis. You'd wear this to go to the shops, you'd wear this to go to work, school, whatever you're doing. And it's so natural, so creamy. Obviously, because it is really, really creamy and slippery and slidey, it is going to come off throughout the day and you will need to reapply it. But I think it's worth it. It's so creamy and soft on your lips. I love the smell of it. These are really affordable as well. I think they're like maybe $8.99. So you can get these in Boots, Superdrug. L'Oreal website and they come in so many different shades but this is just the one that I personally think is my favourite. I love wearing this in the summertime. This would also really work if you had a really bold eye look. You could wear this with that. So it's quite versatile as well and really soft on your lips. Next up we have the Too Faced um, lipstick and it's in the shade Sure Thing. I think this might be part of the Peaches and Cream collection because it's got peaches on it and it's called Sure Thing. I love this colour so much. First of all, it's matte and it's a nude, but it's kind of like a pinky nude. I love this so much. This smells amazing. It does smell like peaches and cream. I love it so much. It's so comfortable on your lips. Honestly, I don't feel like I'm wearing anything, but it also doesn't feel like it's really drying. It's it's matte, but it's not like super duper matte, like it sucks the life out of your lips. It doesn't do that. It's matte, but it's also really comfortable to wear. This is the only high-end one that I'm going to mention. I think it was quite expensive, but I'm not sure how much. I actually got this in America, so I would have bought it in dollars anyway, so I don't know. I have no idea how much this was. But I love it. I wear this all the time. This looks amazing with a super bold eye look. It, it looks lovely with this eye look as well. I really love this. You can wear this with anything. Next up we have this Revlon Lip Cushion. Is it called? Hold on, let me get the right name. The Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint. And it's in the shade 220 Pink. Oh, that's quite easy. So I really like this because it's kind of just like a natural lip stain. The colour is a bit bolder than the other two because it's not quite a nude. It's like a pinky, purpley colour. Um, and this is a bit more bold if you're looking for a bolder colour. These come in lots of different shades, but this is the only one that I have. And I think it was quite affordable as well. I can't remember where I got it from. Did I get it from Boots? I think so. They smell really nice. They're so soft on your lips. They're not matte, they're quite um, like a creamy lipstick, so you might need to reapply it throughout the day, but it still looks really nice, and if you're into this kind of colour, this is perfect for you. Next up we have the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Apple Strudel. Strud Strudel? Strudel? So I love wearing this shade in the summer. It's a really natural gloss, but it also has that boldness slightly to it, a very subtle bold. If you want to go a bit bolder, but you're a bit too scared, maybe go for one of these glosses, because they're also subtle at the same time. These glosses are amazing. They last quite a long time. Obviously, you do need to reapply because they're a gloss, but they do last quite a decent amount of time. They're not sticky or anything. You know, it's really comfortable to wear, and so many shades. This honestly comes in loads of shades. And I think it's about six pounds. So really affordable as well. I love this one. Next up we have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cabo. So 
as you can see, these are so easy to apply. They're so creamy on your lips. They don't feel super drying because they're quite a creamy matte. So they don't dry out your lips. They don't feel uncomfortable. And I just like this shade. It's like a naturally nude pinky shade. I just prefer to wear these types of colours. And you can wear this with any eye look, any outfit. Um, I just love it. And it's really comfortable as well. <clears throat> what I sometimes do with this as well is put a gloss on top or just a, something in the middle. And it looks really, really nice. Next up we have um, a Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Aquarius. Ignore the really bad application then. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is part of the Kathleen Lights collection from Colourpop. And this is her shade Aquarius in the Ultra Satin Lip. I just find this really comfortable to wear. I find the Ultra Satins so much more comfortable than the Ultra Mattes. Obviously these don't co dry completely matte, so it still has that lipstick kind of feeling. And it will wear away slightly around the middle when you're eating and things like that. Whereas the Ultra Mattes don't do that. But I prefer the formula on the Ultra Satins and I really like this colour for the summertime. You can wear this with any eye look as well. And sometimes I mix this with a gloss as well. But it's a really nice colour and super affordable. These are $6 each, so an amazing price. Next up we have the Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Champagne Mami. So this is just a really natural reddish tint gloss with a load of gold specks of glitter in it. So comfortable to wear. I love these glosses. There's not one part of them that feels super sticky on your lips. They're so comfortable to wear. And it has that sparkly glitter throughout it as well. I really, really like it. Next up we have another Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip. And this is in the shade Aquarius. Also part of the Kathleen Lights Collection. Okay, now I think this has to be one of my favourite glosses of all time. I love the colour on it, I love the formula, the feel of it. I just think this is an amazing, amazing gloss. It's an everyday kind of colour, but it also has a little bit of reddish pink to it. You can wear this with anything, honestly, it goes with everything. It's so soft on your lips, so comfortable to wear. I love this so, so much. It is amazing. It's probably one of my favourites. Next up we have another Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip and this is by the Disney Designer Collection and it's in the shade Bobbidi. Now this one is a bit more darker, it's a bit more brighter, vibrant um, than the other ones. It's like a corally peachy reddish colour and it does stand out a lot more than the others so if you are looking for a bolder summer shade this is the one for you. I tend to wear this like on holidays or maybe to parties in the evenings. This goes with anything as well. It looks super pretty. And then the last one, so I narrowed it down to 10. This is the last one. It's the L'Oreal Tinted Lip Oil in the shade 02 Sugar Plum. So this is just a really natural, um, pinky, slightly maybe purpley shade. And I love these tinted lip oils. They're so comfortable to wear. They smell amazing. They're not sticky at all. The only thing is they can stain your lips a little bit, especially the shade Jelly Peach that stains your lips. But this is okay. And yeah, I just really like this shade because it's the most natural out of them all, I think. And yeah, it's just really feminine and pretty for the summer. You can wear this with any look. I think it looks nice with this look. Any look, really. So these smell amazing as well. Really nice. So yeah, that completes this video. Those were my top 10 summer lipsticks this year to wear. These are my favourite ones. So I hope this video was helpful if you're looking for some summer lipstick uh, recommendations. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you can see all my other videos. And leave a comment down below what your favourite summer lipstick is as well. Leave that in the comments for me. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!